the United States is expected to experience as much sea level rise by 2050 as in the previous 100 years, according to a federal report released Tuesday. Sea level rise driven by global climate change is a clear and present risk to the United States today and for the coming decades and centuries. By 2050, seas lapping against the U.S. will be 10 to 12 inches higher, according to the report. Make no mistake, sea level rise is upon us, said report co-author Nicole Livoff, director of NOAA's National Ocean Service, at a press conference Tuesday. Sea level has risen nearly 8 inches worldwide since 1880 but, unlike water in a bathtub, it doesn't rise evenly. In the past 100 years, it has climbed about a foot or more in some U. S. cities because of ocean currents and sinking land. Here's why, as the Earth's temperature warms, so do the seas. Heat-trapping greenhouse gases cause more land ice, glaciers and ice sheets, to melt and water to expand. Warmer water simply takes up more room than cooler water. Scientists say global warming will be the primary cause of future sea level rise. What's at stake aren't just beach mansions, but also thousands of working class homes, as well as airports, military bases, seaports, power plants, oil refineries, bridges and highways. This new data on sea rise is the latest reconfirmation that our climate crisis, as the president has said, is BL. The U.S. will get slightly more sea level rise than the global average. And the greatest rise in the U.S. will be on the Gulf and East Coasts while the West Coast and Hawaii will be hit less than average, said National Ocean Service oceanographer William Sweet, the report's lead author. The report also finds that the sea level rise expected by 2050 will create a profound increase in the frequency of coastal flooding, even in the absence of storms or heavy rainfall. Tens of millions of people in the United States already live in areas at risk of coastal flooding, with more moving tea. Many of our major metropolitan areas on the East Coast are going to be increasingly at risk. Contributing, the Associated Press.